Oh, they about to end him. They're like, nah, shut the fluff up, ninja. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Yo, what is going on, everyone? It's your boy, Potential Unleashed, and I am back with another reaction. This is One Piece episode 1116. In the last episode, we saw Garp versus Aokiji at Hachinosu, and it was some of the best choreography that we've seen in this series. I'm really looking forward to seeing this episode. But if you guys enjoy regular reactions like these, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you guys never miss out on a new video. With that away, my name is Potential Unleashed, and let's get into episode 1116's reaction. I love what they're doing with this. They are definitely fleshing out this scene. You know, seeing this is really cool. I also didn't realize that T-Bone had a mustache as wide as it was, but... I guess that's his mustache. I always thought that it was just like a crack in his skull or a scar or something. Mmm, death in the line of duty, all because of the new bounty system by Cross Guild. Yeah, because some of the like civilians that are in such a harsh environment, they need the money as well because the world government may not necessarily help them because they can't pay heavenly tributes or anything like that. So they got to do what they got to do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Really interesting system, for sure. Most people would think it's just going to be pirates going after it. Well, nah. There's some strong uh, civilians that could do something. Mmm, one of the baddest marines they got. Mmm, she look good. Yeah, everybody know, everybody know. You know how crazy it would have been if, um, freaking, they went with him as well? Like, if Suru and Sengoku were there, they definitely go crazy. Like, at Hajinos. I mean, Garp's already going crazy, but still. Yeah, look at how beat up he looks. Of course he would do that if his family's in danger. Can you really blame him? If they've been living such a, like terrible life it's either you become a pirate or you die so which which one are you gonna choose oh man you know it's crazy like in the beginning i didn't like buggy and like i thought this stuff was stupid but i mean I'm kind of here for it now. I kind of look forward to seeing this stuff. Um, Buggy, I don't think you're gonna wanna, uh, I don't think you're gonna want them to come with you. You do have to give it to Buggy. Even though he's weak, he is great, like, kind of good at leading. He's able to pull at, uh, and tug at different people's heartstrings. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, Buggy is screwed. They are not gonna like that ship. Yeah, Buggy, go ahead and start learning Chinese, man. Oh, I like how they changed the color, too. Buggy is shitting bricks right now. Come to the meeting room. Oh, he's about to get beat up. <laughs> Yeah. Yo, they freaking tortured him, have him all over the place, hands and hooks. <laughs> to be fair, with having Mihawk and Crocodile there, are really a lot of people going to challenge them? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Big Bucky out here speaking his mind. 
Okay, Buggy, he's a... Uh, he's, he's growing some balls. He called him Small Fry? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know how I will say that definitely sucks when like you're standing next to somebody that's better than you or like just has so much talent it makes you like feel bad like it, it's weird like whenever you see somebody do something that you also want to achieve but they're like 50 times better than you no matter how much work you put in it's like deflating and it's like I, you know at that point let me just do something else like i wouldn't want to serve under somebody if i had the same goal either even if like they're um like way ahead of me Mm, talking about uh, wanting Shanks to become the next king or believing he'd be the next king. Roger even, you know, kind of believed that as well. I'm not gonna lie, it's so hard to take it him seriously saying that. Maybe it's because he's beat up, or maybe it's because he's crying, or maybe because it's buggy. I don't know if it's all three, but it's just... It's just weird hearing him say that. Maybe it's because I don't think he has a chance going up against Shanks, Blackbeard, and Luffy. Uh, they're about to end him. They're like, nah, shut the fluff up, ninja. <laughs> yup. <laughs> oh, man. Golly, Crocodile's that much taller than Mihawk? And Mihawk's already a pretty large dude. Well, Buggy, you're not very smart to begin with. Uh-oh. See, Buggy about to get beat up even more. He never learns, but I think he's finally standing up and doing something that he wants to do. Well, it's over now. Krusky is definitely going after the One Piece. Yeah. So that me that's how uh, Mihawk and Crocodile and all of them are going to make it to laughter. Because, I mean, originally they didn't give a fluff about that. But now that they inspired all their crew members, what choice do they have? What? Yo, if I hear a million, that's the first thing I hear. Bump all that. Hey, the man, the myth. Well, he's not really a myth, but the man, the flame emperor, baby. You already know who it is. Yes, sir. Uh, Koala's freaking happy as all get out. Yo, she is sprinting to that dude. Yo, look at the aura. Look at the aura. Hey, Saba looks lit. Oh, he did get a new voice actor because the other one was doing some stuff. So I want to hear how he sounds. I mean, he's good. Like, he plays Suga and, like, other people from, like, he's known, so. That was a gun? I do think the voice actor fits him, though. I'm not gonna lie. He sounds very sophisticated. He kind of sounds like a noble. I mean, I know Sabo's the son of one, but... I like his I like his new voice actor. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's, it's over. <laughs> ah! Oh man. Oh, so Dragon knew from the get go. Aww. 
Aw, how cute. Yo, Morley is a big nigga. Nah, I'm about to use my flame powers to get up out of there. He ain't about to eat. Don't touch me. Do not touch me with them crying here. Aw, yeah. I one of my I'm not the biggest fan of like when somebody's crying and like they're they're like tears and snot gets on me. It's I mean I obviously I put up with it because like you know whether it's being a good friend or a good significant other, but it's it's nasty. It's nasty. I'm a germaphobe. I'm sorry. If Kumo was in his right state of mind, he'd be at this table too. Uh-oh, y'all ain't ready for that. Y'all are not ready. But alrighty, guys, that's gonna do it for episode 1116. Not a lot of stuff happened in terms of action. It's really setting up uh, for what's gonna be revealed in the next couple episodes. But I did like seeing Buggy here. Did like seeing Sabo and his new voice actor. But let me know how you guys feel about this episode in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys never miss out on a new video. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok is on the screen and in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to unleash your potential.